Hello, so this is the first session of interviews for a VR Geek Blog, and I'm here with Jaron Lanier. Hey! So, <laughs> sorry, uh, just a few questions. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think um, the VR will bring to the people in the next five years? Wow! You know, I'm feeling kind of excited because I think a lot of the underlying technologies are finally on the verge of being good enough to, to realize some of the things that many of us have waited for for a long time. Yeah. Um, there's interesting optics coming around that, that, that can allow for displays that we were, that we always wanted that we couldn't do before. Obviously the computation is getting maybe too good. Uh, <laughs> there are enough people with enough connectivity that we can talk about real networking. Um, and also there's just a comfort and an interest level. I mean, um, I'm, I, I just think, I think it's a really great time for VR. I, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, because we're seeing lots of new hardware that is coming and very cheap and cheap, like 3D TVs and uh, very cheap tracking, and uh, yeah. it's going to be really great. Well, I mean, some of the major factors, the popularity of the Wii is a huge thing, because that's, for a long time, there was almost like this curse that if you do anything with experimental UI, it's not pop and nobody will like it. And so somebody finally decided to test that theory. I mean, we'd done it much earlier with the Power Glove. And the truth is that many of these, these experiments have been quite successful, including the Power Glove, but the Wii is so successful that you just really can't pretend anymore that this doesn't work for people. You know, you just can't, you can't make that argument. And um, the success of 3D movies is another thing. Um, although Second Life is small compared to like the mega things like Facebook, it still is, you know, that's something. Cause that, it's a lot of work to, to learn Second Life compared to Facebook, and people are doing it. And so all of these things together really give an indication that there's also a public um, sort of a crystallization uh, of, of, uh, of just the right moment for a lot of people. So. So Very cool. I also read your article when you said that VR could improve communication, like to create improvisation as in jazz for communication. Right, right. So I really love that part. Oh, thanks. So, well, it's so, my dream. I mean, we still need to figure out how to write the software to make... Uh, yeah, I mean, I still think that the software side of VR, um, intuitive, intuitive authoring, intuitive manipulation of the world, it's, it's, it's gotten better. A lot of people have contributed to it, and it's way better than it was 20 years ago, but it has so much further to go. There's really a lot of work to do. And yeah, my opinion is that we have the good hardware, but you don't have enough software to take advantage of yeah. this, this hardware. I still believe VR is much more a software problem than a hardware problem. Oh, yes, that we agree. Yeah. Uh, maybe just one last question. What would be your message to VR geeks that are doing VR in their garage? <laughs> you know, um, the message I want to say is that, um, in a way, I, I want to give them a sort of a pep talk. Because I think what happens is that VR is sort of cool for three years and it's uncool and there's this constant <laughs> thing where it's like always over and then it comes back. But every time it comes back, it comes back a bit stronger. And, and the thing I want people to remember is that in a way the 21st century is the century of biology and material science and these other sorts of things. And so um, there's a question, is this really the coolest thing to do? But I want to remind people that the very coolest thing is always um, experience, understanding, communication, all of the other stuff only is useful if it leads to those things. Biology is an indirect means to have experience. Virtual reality is the closest technology to the technology of the future of experience, so it's inherently the coolest thing you can be working on. So don't let anybody tell you it's not the coolest <laughs> thing if you happen to be in one of those down moments. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> cool.